I am Adolfo Fronda of NerdStalker.com doing a review of the Artemis Archery Backpack. Um, so it's a nylon backpack, I keep my key around the arrow holder there. Um, short backpack straps though, very short. One of them has come off at least once or twice because you can see there's not a lot of slack there. And when this thing is full, so I'm showing you, there's not much room. And I'm an average size guy and uh, so yeah, but it's otherwise it's built really well. The value for this thing is, is crazy good. Um, solid construction on the thing. Um, there's sort of this tightener there for the nylon that goes around the tubing for whatever reason. Um, screw off plastic cap which is a little tricky to get back on from what I've seen. The thread doesn't catch too much. I got six arrows in there um, so you could probably get another what six or something like that. So you maybe get 12 uh, but these are like thin sort of carbon indoor target type of arrows but long as you can see and they fit in there quite well. Very happy with that. Uh, I think you can pull the entire tubing out, it just kind of resides within the bag itself, obviously. There's no really exterior pockets on the uh, backpack. This is the red version. I know it comes in several different colors, but um, this is like a bright red. I don't think the uh, camera did it much justice here. So, yep. And uh, I wish there was more pockets. It's a double zipper opener there, kind of flaps down. There's only a couple, two, three pockets on the inside lip, which I will show you in a bit. Okay, so this is the inside of the bag. Um, I got a full quiver and belt in there. So these are the pockets here. Two little pockets. Uh, one holds my uh, plunger and can hold like little screws and things like that, whatever, maybe some rests or I mean some other type things. Um, and here's some knocks I put in here and stuff like that. Uh, they're Velcro, they're see-through, which is kind of cool. And here I put my like uh, string wax, and uh, I got a tool in there, as you can see. Yep. Um, so that's it. That's all your pockets that you got. Um, it'd be nice if there was something else more, because all my stuff is sort of loose inside. Uh, so inside here, this is my full quiver, you know, that you see there with a the belt. Um, so a larger item. I have targets in there, paper targets I keep. So here's my... Um, riser and um, limbs in this nice bag. Um, just example of my targets that I keep in there. Uh, very padded bag as you can see and there's the tube that runs down through these straps. Um, but see all my stuff has to be kind of loose in there. My strings, my you know all kinds of different stuff. That's not a pocket in there. It looks like it's just kind of like this um, sort of fo plastic fo form thing. Oh, that's nice padding on the side there. Well constructed. I mean, you get what you pay for. Actually, you get more than what you pay for, in my opinion. I got this off Amazon. It's a great deal on Amazon. Um, so this comes with it, with the bag itself, too. Um, and it's really cool because on the it's a full zip guy there. And so I got my, yeah, my riser right there. You keep and it's padded, right? And then there's a separate zipper with two sort of slotted pockets. Yeah, I keep my string, my live string in there too. So there's a yeah, well padded, as you can see. Uh, the other zipper holds my limbs, and they're separated by this sort of blue, this thin mesh thing. Oh, kind of popped out, um, but it's a tight fit depending on your limbs, you know. Um, but it fits well. I mean, they're padded. You got that little separator in there so they're not scratching each other, which is kind of cool. Um, you kind of got to fiddle with it to close it. You'll see in a minute. Very nice and padded, though. It's a nice thing. I've read about someone losing theirs, and there's no, like, replacement one. So you got to, you know, really stay on top of this one. Or if it gets worn down, you know, you're kind of, you might be SOL. Um, so that's just a, an example of how I'm getting everything back in, how I typically load it up at the range or something like that. Uh, throw another another limb in there so you'll see the separation of the two limbs. What I do is opposites so you can see my top my tips are sort of opposite um, so they're not both sort of jamming up but you see it's kind of tight there right so that's an example of them having a hard time kind of closing it a little bit uh, but it gets in there and you slip and you kind of slot it in there and yeah got to kind of fiddle with it to get in there and um, so you can get quite a bit of stuff in there you know and um, there's a lot of room, so it's quite nice. I just wish there was more sort of a pocketing option. Um, maybe that's something, a uh, life hack type thing, DIY thing that I can somehow figure out. Um, otherwise, I'm just, it's a big mess kind of sort of when I'm at the range from pulling all the stuff out. Um, pretty quick, pretty easy. Again, for uh, a beginner or something, this is a, a fantastic option, or even for a seasoned person, you know, but uh, it's a great entry 
backpack for archery fantastic well done artemis i i suggest uh you go and get it now i give it a thumbs up i recommend i would definitely buy it again thanks for watching adolfo out